So in Power BI, your column charts can do a lot more than you think. Check this out. So a cluster column chart allows you to see different columns stacked next to each other side by side in a grouping. So there's a lot of benefit to it because now you can compare data points against each other, whether they're in a company or a certain data element, and then you can compare them against other data elements and other companies as well. So let's walk the dog on this one real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and click on cluster column chart. And what I want to do is I want to click on company first. I'm going to bring company over. My total is going to be employee names. We have count of employee name. I'm just going to put total real quick. And then we have company A through whatever. So we can also change the sorting if you want to just by going to sort access and go by total or go by company. So we'll go by company and then we'll go in by ascending order. So left to right, just to make it easier on the eyes real quick. But this is not truly a cluster column chart yet because it's only looking at the total. We're going to add another value to this and we're going to bring in the title. And title is going to go to legend. And now within each company, we can see the different job titles that we have. So in company A, we can see how many managers it have, which is 30. And company E has way more supervisors than all the other companies. Now let's just take it one step further though, right? So we have this, but what if we want to break it down even further by let's just say gender, for example. So we can click on our chart. And we're going to now go up to our X axis. We're going to bring in gender as well. Underneath company, and you can see everything kind of bumps next to each other. And it's a lot, right? It's too much to look at. So we're just going to click up on the hierarchy. And now we don't see gender at all. But what if I clicked on this? And now this allows you, the end user, to simply click on a value and drill into it. So if I'm going to click on company A technician, it's now going to show me company A, how many males and females there are per title. So that's how you use a cluster column chart. You can now take one data element and branch it down even further into micro data points. You don't have to just go down two layers. You can go down three layers if you want to, depending on how deep you want to go. With that said, that's all there is to a cluster and column chart, y'all. Hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching.